Good morning, everyone. Um, it's the start of my three-day weekend. Um, so I am here at, um, I am in Denver, Indiana, one of the extremely small uh, areas. Um, so <laughs> this is my spot. Got a little bucket over there and I got a t-shirt. Um, so I'm solo today. Um, the, the event doesn't start for several hours, but seeing as how I'm setting up by myself, um, I, I thought maybe I'd come early and get myself set up and, um, figure out all the, the ins and outs and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm, I, I'm not sure how it's all going to set up because I think my husband forgot to put in my four foot table. So we'll just have to see. I might have a very different setup this time. So when I get it set up, I will let you know and we will go from there. Hey everyone. I am set up. Um, I got several hours until uh, things really start to roll. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my setup. It's a little different today. Um, and then I'm gonna sit down and uh, work on some projects. And you know, one of these days I'm gonna learn to get me a hat because I'm already a hot mess and you know, that's just the way it is. So um, here's my setup. I'm hoping I get it. Um, so some of the stuff is the same got frogs I've got monsters and I've got ducks um, some whales I wish I had more of the loaf cats I might try and get a couple loaf cats made by Saturday um, if I can I had somebody request a hedgehog so I'm going to do that first um, so if I back up this is the new part. I ordered a set of those uh, square uh, bins and that really has helped put uh, some stuff in some really nice uh, areas. So, um, and then I have, I didn't know what to do with these. These are dish towels um, and I made, I made some of these rings um, and so I, I'm still kind of deciding on how to display them, but I've got the rings in with my keychains and this individual towels right next to it. Um, so hopefully that'll, that'll be an okay thing. I don't expect to sell a lot of those, but you never know. Um, sometimes I sell one or two or three or four at each market and that's fine. They don't take much to do. Um, and there's the rest of my hanging towels. So... Um, that's my setup and um, the gal that was going to come uh, that was my, is my friend she got sick so she can't come so I will give you an update uh, at the end of the day hey everyone I'm back for day two um, kind of a short version of day one at um, this event. Um, Thursday nights in a little bitty town like this are not real great. Um, I did sell about $110, which um, is double my my booth fee. So uh, made the booth fee back the first night. Um, today, uh, or tonight um, should be really decent. Tomorrow, which is Saturday, um, they say is usually like the best day. Um, there's a parade, there's a car show, there's there's all kinds of stuff tomorrow. Um, probably the only thing that is a little bit of a drawback is that, um, you know, we're out here in the middle of no man's land. Um, and the internet is not real good. So pretty much all my sales need to be cash, but you know, I like cash, but um, you know, for some people who would like to use a card, it's just not, uh, not that good of a deal. Um, 
and it's kind of a hit or, hit or miss. So been asking for cash if they have it. Um, got lots of interest. Um, folks don't get paid till Friday around uh, this this area. So um, I had a bunch of people say, are you going to be here all weekend? And, and of course I am. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping for a real good evening. The weather is beautiful. It is in the mid seventies with a slight breeze. Um, my spot is under a tree. I couldn't ask for a better spot. So um, I got about two hours before it opens. I got a reset in my booth because uh, I did pull, I did take some stuff down. Um, I didn't dismantle the whole booth, uh, but I did, um, you know, lay my shelves down, my, my kind of wobbly ones so that in case anything happened, nothing got, nothing got ruined. So I've got just probably about 30 minutes of resetting to do and I'll be ready to go for the evening. So, um, I'll try and keep you posted and, um, I will check in with you guys later. Okay. Take three. I don't know how I keep shutting this thing off. I, 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 uh, that's what happens when you have a lack of sleep. Um, couldn't get to sleep last night. Couldn't stay asleep. Anyway, here I am, day three, um, last night update, um, not a bad night, um, more th or a little over double what I did the first night, so, um, and then I also got a custom order, or a, a more of a bulk type order, um, I've got to do two loveys, a Charmander, and a Squirtle. So that amount is not calculated in my total for last night. So today is supposed to be the big day. There's a parade, there's a car show, there's, um, there's all kinds of, there's mud volleyball, there's, uh, some mud tug of war. There's, there's just all kinds of things happening. Um, and so I gathered up what odds and ends I had, um, in other places and brought them in case I needed them or I'm gonna put them up in case, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. A um, Couple of surprise sellers. I sold uh, my largest giraffe last night. Um, he's so cute. He'd been hanging around just a tad bit, but um, I sold him to a lady who was pregnant and she bought it for her baby when it comes. It was very cute. Um, the teenagers are really liking the small ducks, so I had to, I have scrounged up every last duck I have and brought it today. Um, the white ducks seem to not be the sellers. The colored ducks and the yellow ducks seem to go well. My white ones, not so much, but it's okay. Um, uh, what else for today? Um, I don't know. I guess we will see how it all goes. Um, do some adjusting with my tent. Um, I'm kind of on a slant. So over the last two days, my, my tent is kind of like a foot off the edge and, or the back down this hill. So when the, uh, when the gal next to me gets here, I'm going to have her help me slide my tent back up to the edge of the road. <laughs> so, um, but today ought to be a decent day. Lots of good stuff going on. Um, I got a decent park in place so that um, when it's time to load out, I can do that very easily. Um, and uh, so yeah, I think I'm in good shape. Um, anyway, when, I'll try and update a little bit um, when I get my stuff set back up for today, um, I'll kind of do a, a go around, show you what's there. Um, and then we'll do a comparison. If I remember, I'm really bad at getting the end videos because I just want to get packed up and go home. And this is, 
this is the first big outdoor event I've done all by myself. Um, a lot of my other events, um, my husband will go and help me set up the night before um, or that morning and then go back home. Well, he, he didn't do that this time. So I have been winging it and not done too bad, I don't think. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here and go start setting up some stuff and um, I will catch you all in a little bit. See ya. Okay, I'm doing kind of an update. Um, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon um, on day three. And uh, I thought I'd give you uh, a little look. Uh, my little $5 bin is just about empty. Um, sold a bunch of stuff uh, off of there. Um, we have about another six to seven hours before we're done. Um, I could potentially be wiped out. Um, so this is kind of a part way through the day on day three and uh, I'll update you later. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> or I guess this is the continuation. Um, different location, I'm in my office. I'm just getting ready to leave work to go home. I thought it's quiet. It's, I'll just finish up this video. So this is the end results for the um, three day market. Okay. I know you've been catching all the pieces. So um, let's start with top sellers. Um, ducks, ducks, um, about this big. I made them out of four weight. They were my top sellers. I sold 10. Um, while I was sitting there, I was making mini turtles about like this big around. I was selling them for a buck a piece. They flew off the table as fast as I could make them. I sold eight. I gave a couple away. Um, let's see. Fidget snakes did really well. Mermaids. I took six. I sold five of the six. Um, my small frogs did really well. Uh, my small pigs uh, did really well. I sold out of all of my possums, all my big ones and my small ones. Um, let's see. I sold my jumbo sized turtle, the one that's, you know, like this big around. Um, he sold there was, I had a lot of odds and ends um, of, of stuff that I'm not probably going to do again. And I sold one here, one there of some of that stuff. Um, but those were my, my big, uh, my big sellers. Um, and so, um, I'm going to have to replace a bunch of stuff because I sold, I sold 253 items and my pro my sales were over a thousand dollars so that is the first time i have ever hit that amount of money um so but this is also the first time i've done um, a three-day event now the majority of that came on saturday because thursday night i sold 113 dollars worth of stuff which was okay my booth rent was 50 bucks so um, it doubled, you know, I made my booth plus, you know, a little extra. Friday night, I sold, let me go back here. Friday night, um, Friday night, I sold $206. And then, so the rest of that, it was um, a little over $800 um, on Saturday. So, um, for a very small town, and I'm telling you, this town has no stoplights, no blinking lights. It's it, it, the one of the rural highways just kind of passes right through it. Um, 
it had a ton of people, a ton of events, very well organized. The gal that was the coordinator was fabulous. Um, my neighbors were, uh, vendors on either side of me were fabulous. Um, in fact, the one girl I was talking to, she uh, does sublimation uh, tumblers, the cups, um, and she had done a fair um, a few weeks ago in um, the Howard County Fair here in Indiana. I think it's, they said it's like the fifth largest um, county fair in the state. Um, she was just shy of bringing in $9,000 in six days um, at that county fair. And I was just, I was flabbergasted. I never would have thought that, but um, she, she was great. She had lots of helpful hints, um, suggestions. Um, she was just, she was a great person to be next to. Um, and um, so I'm hoping that I will run into her at, at other events. Um, and I did like her page and so I'll be able to see where she goes. Um, so it was a fantastic experience. Um, I now have right about five weeks and then I'm at another big show um, and it will actually be bigger. I'm kind of nervous. Um, the Apple Popcorn Festival um, here in Indiana um, they run between 17 and 20,000 people um, through that event. So um, I have to crochet like crazy um, to have enough product. I also called my friend who she does crochet. And I told her, I said, if you have stuff that um, you haven't sold that you want me to take with me, because she's not doing that event. Um, you know, I will take it and, and sell it for you. Um, now the week after that, we are at the same event. Um, she does tumblers. And, um, so, uh, we're going to make that work out. So anyway, my dad's calling. I'm looking at my phone. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted just to give you that short update and, um, I will, I will get uh, making some new items and you can kind of see where I go next. Crochet away, everybody.